Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this uh, Grasshopper short tutorial, I want to show you how you can uh, model a parametric bridge, uh, which is similar to this pedestrian bridge in Genoa. As you can see here, we have some images of this. And what I have done here is uh, we have made a series of ellipses. You can see it here, here, and it goes till the end. And at the end, instead of a complete ellipse, uh, it's going to be a half one, okay, sitting on the other side of the ellipse. So now we have another series of ellipses in this direction and it's going to go here and again it's going to be a half of that sitting on the red ellipses. So here you can see that I can change the curve so if it's outwards it's going to be like this. If it's inwards I have to make the offset plus so it goes inwards and the deck is also parametric we can give it an extension if we want to extend it uh, the u count is going to be the number of those ellipses we produce which i'm going to explain in this tutorial uh, then we have a point which is going to be the mirroring plane so if i change that you can see that this is going to change uh, the size of the bridge. There is uh, also another point which is going to be the location of the deck and also the intersection between the ellipses. So if I change that you can see that that's going to change too and this is the module we're going to make and produce uh, on the base uh, curves which I'm going to explain. Uh, at the end you can also give a radius to those ellipses so we can actually play around with this curve and produce different bridges easily by just one curve and as you can see here this is the final result uh, so let's get started from scratch and uh, take a look at the algorithm uh, okay let's uh, just turn off everything and see how it works so at the start we have a series of vertices interpolated to make the base curve uh, after we have uh, made the curve uh, we have to make a series of mirroring so assume that this is the curve uh, we have a mirror based on an xz plane so if i just turn this on turn on the point uh, you can see that this is going to be the mirroring plane uh, the next one is another mirror of this curve based on an xy plane so again we can just move the point up and down and update the result and now we just make another mirror from this uh, curve with this plane so this is going to be the four curves we can make and this is going to be the base of the bridge uh, now we can use the root surface you can find it in surface freeform root surface uh, and it's going to make a surface between two curves so here we can just select these two curves and also these two curves and this these two surfaces are going to be the base of the box uh, we need to make a blend box by going to you can see the final results here by going to the transform morph and uh, blend box here you can see you can create a twisted box between two surfaces we give the two surfaces to the surface a and b if i bake that you can see that these are the boxes uh, which we have created uh, between those two surfaces okay now we can just uh, play around with the division and change that uh, another thing here you can see is the division so the division for the v count is one if i put this to two you can see it's going to divide this direction which we don't want into two but it's going to be one here and then we can give a number slider to the u count and this is going to just change that here okay now that we have the blend box uh, what we have to do is to uh, bring a module which is going to be these two ellipses here inside them uh, to make the ellipses it's not really that important but i have made an ellipse uh, uh, first of all you have to uh, put it in an inclined plane so i just made a yz plane and rotated that around the center with the y-axis so this plane is going to be rotated around the y-axis and we can just rotate that anyway the angle is not really that important because the final result is going to be blended into those boxes so this is the plane uh, we just rotate and make the ellipse there so remember that the radius uh, of one and two is not really that important but anyway after making the plane we have to make another mirror here the mirror is going to be the yz plane we had here and then we will have those two ellipses okay now that we have those two ellipses we have to find uh, the, their bounding box a surface primitive bounding box uh, you just have to use the union box so it's completely united and uh, now we can mock a box morph that so the 
uh, geometry we want to box morph are these two ellipses. Uh, the reference is this bounding box and the target is going to be those blend box we have made here. So if I just turn this box morph on, remember that the box morph is in transform morph box morph here which is going to morph an object into a twisted box. And you can see those ellipses here. Because we have used the box morph, uh, the ellipses are going to be deformed. Uh, but I wanted to make this algorithm as simple as possible. So we're just going to use this technique uh, for this tutorial. In the future, I'm going to show you how to make these completely uh, flat ellipses and work on it. So in this lesson, we are focused on uh, making the geometry just for visualization or for conceptual design. Okay, after we have uh, produced the ellipse, uh, the output here is, as you can see here, two groups of nine, which is going to be the two ellipses for the box morph. Uh, I'm going to use an explode tree. You can find it in set tree explode and bring them into two groups. So this is going to be the first set of deformed ellipses and this one is going to be the second set and uh, to make those um, half part of the ellipses what we have to do is to let's just focus on one of them I'm just going to turn off everything and go on the first set of ellipses also turn off uh, the blend box uh, what we have to do is to delete uh, the last one or the first one doesn't really matter. We just have to delete one of them. So for example, if we want to work with this, I'm going to get rid of one of them. And at the end, we're just going to pick the half of this. Okay. So first we use the set sequence call index, delete the list from the index zero. So the last one is going to be deleted. Then we're going to pick that one and use a subcurve, curve spline and subcurve here, uh, reparameterize it. And as you can see here, I'm going to give a domain of 0 0.5. So it's going to be from 0 to 0 0.5. And it's going to be actually the half of that deformed ellipse. Uh, we're going to do the same also for the second set. So as you can see here, uh, we're going to just delete the last one here and pick up the last one. For this one, we have to reverse the list. So if it's in this direction, the first one, the second one, and so on, uh, when we reverse the list, it's going to be in this way. Okay, we reverse the list, we just say, uh, we do the same, and put the half here. Okay, uh, now that we have that here, uh, we can also shatter them if you want the half of this part. Uh, what I have done here is uh, use uh, the curve uh, division shatter. It's going to shatter a curve into segments and we're going to shatter all of those um, deformed ellipses into 0, 0 0.5 which is going to be exactly at these points. And here if I bake that, you can see that this is the half of it. And this is the half of it, okay? So that's also possible. Uh, now that we have them, uh, we can bring the shatter of the second group also to this uh, curve container. And I'm going to turn off everything. And this is just all of those half deformed ellipses if you wanted to use them in the project. So I just wanted to also add this shatter technique. At the end, we can just uh, pipe them. Mm, let's just turn this off and turn this on and give it a pipe for more visualization and a radius this is going to give you the overall shape of the bridge but anyway if we want to fix it uh, we have to make the ellipses completely flat we have to um, also work on the planes because as you can see here these planes are different so this is a little bit different than a constant uh, degree of plane. But for this tutorial, I think it's not bad to get the concept of the uh, blend box and also this technique of the half of the part of the ellipse. Anyway, after we have produced this, uh, I've also added this uh, deck part. So if I just go to the end, uh, let's talk about how we can uh, give a conceptual deck for this. Uh, to do that, you can simply, let's just turn this off, uh, have the two set of groups here. Let's just turn this off. Okay. Uh, we had them into groups of two, so I have bring, uh, brought them 
from up here those two groups into here then we can use an intersection physical curve curve so we just give that to the curve a and b uh, we will produce a series of points on that which is going to be used for the curve of the deck actually we want to make the uh, interpolation but if i give the interpolation to the output as you can see here it's just connecting them right here so what i have used is the flip matrix to put them into two groups of nine and now we can interpolate them uh, we also use the curve utility extend tool to extend them at the start and the end just give a number slider to both start and the end so we can extend them uh, then i flatten them those two planar curves offset uh, using the curve offset uh, fortunately they both offset in the direction we want so as you can see here they are inwards but if it's not you have to make a minus x in the distance okay then I have flattened the curve uh, again because when you uh, make an offset curve it's not going to uh, put them in one group it's going to put it in two groups so I'm just flattening it and then lofting it together okay then we can also extrude it and I've just added some BRF edges and a custom preview to see the deck. So now you can see that here too, and we can just turn that off, turn the custom preview on, and also turn off those two root surfaces. And here we go, just a good concept of how we can make that bridge. Remember this one is uh, completely dependent on the curve we are defining here. So we can just turn it on to see uh, how it's deforming if you bring the curves outwards uh, the deck is going to be outside just give this a uh, number slider for the uh, distance double click it and put it a minus 10 i'm going to save this file uh, so if you just bring it minus it's going to go inwards and it's just going to work fine so remember that outwards is going to be minus uh, inwards is going to be plus so just work around with the points for the concept and uh, we can also play with the plane with this plane and make the final results okay i hope this example file is a good exercise to make this parametric bridge uh, for visualization and just for the concept. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask below and see you next time. Bye.